Hi, I'm Jeffrey Atoll, author of Gourmet Cooking in the Wild, and I'm here to share with you a number of my different recipes for my book. I hope you will give it a try. In the Wild. Today's segment is going to be on Spam in the Wild. I have a unique backpacker Spam dish that I make that does not take much time at all. Normally, before I go into the woods, I prepare all this stuff by dicing it. Two apples, one small onion, one full garlic clove, and three potatoes. And of course, Spam. Spam would be the last thing that goes into the pot. I'm going to dice this up, and then you will follow me afterwards when I put everything in the pot together. Okay, we have completed the dicing. And like I said, the dicing takes a little longer if you do it in the woods versus the preparation ahead of time. I usually have it done before I come here, and I usually keep it in a one-gallon Ziploc bag. What I'm going to do now is I have a nonstick pot, which I just put one tablespoon of canola oil in, and I'm pouring all the ingredients in there. Stir it around. Nice part about the potatoes in here and the onions, the garlic. If you like home fries, basically this is what it's like. You're having your home fries being cooked. Cook it on a higher light, put the cap on. I give it about five minutes and then afterwards I will be putting in the Spam. The Spam has so much grease in it that you don't have to add any more canola oil. It will saute the Spam and inside of under 35 minutes, you have a full meal from beginning to end. High in protein, especially if you're a backpacker. You don't have any liquids to worry about, it's simple. If you take canola oil, just put it in a little film canister or a tiny little plastic bottle. It doesn't go bad. I have done this for years. Okay, I've just added a half a cup of water to this, just so it would saute a little better and make the potatoes softer as this cooks down. This should take another, like I said, 35 minutes. I'm going to be adding in the Spam now, opening up the container and let that all stick together. There's your Spam, and if most people want to know, they often call it mystery meat. You can do one of two things. I'm going to take it, put it on my table and dice it which will make it easier for sauteing afterwards as opposed to having a whole piece. So I'm chopping it up right now. Cutting it nice and small, just like the potatoes, the apples, the garlic. I'm gonna stick this back in the pot in a second, and then I'll walk away. Simple as that. Ham is fully cooked. Go. You don't have to worry about it. You'll never starve with Spam. They've been using Spam since World War II. Okay, the hash is done now. This is what it looks like in the pot. It's soft, and I can't wait to try it. I just put some on my plate. I have to tell you, Nobody would believe that this is hash. With the apples, the garlic, the onions, the potatoes, it is fantastic. That is one of over 200 recipes you'll find in my cookbook, Gourmet Cooking in the Wild. Available now. Until next time, campers.